Welcome to the Black A History Channel. Please share this video and subscribe to this channel for more captivating content. Mr. C was a DJ and music producer who was known for being a part of rap and hip hop's most influential acts and was a popular radio DJ in New York. After hearing about his recent passing, I remember the time in 2011 when Mr. C made headlines for disclosing his same sex encounters to the public, reshaping the way people saw rappers and the genre in general. Mr. C was a DJ for a founding father of hip hop, Big Daddy Kane, who was one of the leading rappers of the 1980s when the genre of rap and hip hop was still forming and growing in popularity in America's biggest cities, especially New York. He was also an executive producer on one of the greatest albums in hip hop history, Notorious B.I.G.'s debut album, Ready to Die, that was released in 1994 and contained hit records like Big Papa and One More Chance, rap music radio staples that were a huge part of my 90s childhood. For many years, Mr. C would host his own hip-hop radio show, The Block 94.7, which was incredibly popular for hip-hop audiences in New York. I remember being scandalized and intrigued by the news that the popular DJ and New York radio personality was caught having sex with male sex workers, because we all knew that many men in the hip-hop and rap spaces were closeted, but now there was proof. Though at the time it may have seemed trivial, Mr. C's willingness to acknowledge that the rumors were true when he could have continued to lie or ignore the allegations like other popular entertainers have done before, may have created a shift for men in rap to be just a little bit more honest about their same-sex desires. In interviews, Mr. C would admit that his Trinidadian background, a Caribbean island known for its homophobia, played a part in why it was so hard for him to acknowledge his attraction to men. The reason why there are so many labels for intimacy between men is because so many men, particularly black men, are uncomfortable associating with the modern gay, bisexual, and LGBTQ community because, let's face it, no one likes to be othered. But if you are attracted to men, then being called gay, bisexual, same gender loving queer, or MSM shouldn't be your biggest concern, but that's the world we live in. In my work in HIV prevention, we use the medical term MSN, or men who have sex with men, because so many men who are getting tested for HIV didn't want to be called gay or bisexual, but acknowledged having sex with men. And I personally believe that because there is still incredible stigma in the world for being gay, bisexual, or queer. But as the popular Shakespeare line says, a rose by any other name would smell as sweet, meaning call it what you want, but it is what it is. While Mr. C never labeled his affairs with men, I think it was important that he told the truth, especially considering that we are seeing in the news now in rap and hip hop with many men who Mr. C was connected with are clearly being called out for allegations of living double lives as well as being incredibly abusive. Because the truth is, that is the unfortunate end for being dishonest about who you are. All those things eventually catch up with you. And being honest about who you are is better for everyone involved, especially yourself. Mr. C is just more proof the same gender loving men have always been musical innovators who shaped black culture, even rap and hip hop, and that erasing us from history is to erase black history itself.